Hello YouTube, Vampire Connor here and today we are going to be focusing on making realistic furniture like these couches, these chairs and table and the shelf and all of that, including the lights, but although like, yeah, so, how the, what are we going to need to make this, we, you don't, so we're going to be making this in Blender. Now we don't need to be a professional because we're going to be using a certain add-on that is basically gives you furniture and all of that. It's an add-on called Blender Kit. So I'm going to leave the link to Blender in the description. But enough of like the showcase, I'm going to go to Blender right now. So in Blender, I have Blender 2.8. Oh, I don't know how to say 2.82a there. And basically, you don't have to download this, but I have it. So, it doesn't really make much of a difference. So, when you go to it, so once you're on this, you know, screen, you go to the top left, you click edit, go preferences, add ons, and then you just search blender. And you, it should say Blender Kit, and then you tick it. You don't have to go to any website to download it. So once you've you know ticked that and saved your preferences, at the right you should see this arrow, and you go click the arrow, and then this section is going to be brought up, and you know you go click Blender Kit. And what I like about Blender Kit is not just you could find models you could also find your materials and you could use you know get your textures but we're going to be focusing on finding models so i'm so i don't want to really spend money so we go click free only and import method will be append so it's already brought up the free models all right now you will have all these here, like furniture and all of that, but I'm not. But this is okay. What they brought you even have cars, and you could rename cars if you want. So you go find your model that you like. The thing is, like some of these models are very high poly. So and the thing is, Roblox only accepts models that have a like 10,000 like here where it says 10,000 that's the max you could go but like you could find but I will show you how you could you know bring stuff down so let's I don't know like you get you could choose your um, I'm going to choose this chair right here you click on it it must be on the pen it may take a while now this model is probably going to be very high poly and there's a way to fix that. If you want, you can find a, I mean it shows, it probably would show here, like face count, like I could also bring this, you see this face count, ah, uh, see this face count is quite a lot but I'll be showing you how to, you know, do this. My blend, uh, like, it's very strange, it crashes sometimes, but... Yeah, so I'll try, I'm going to call all these triangles or something like that. But they're very... It's a very high poly model. So we go to go to modifier. When you press tab, you can see, like, here it just has a lot of faces. You... You know, zoom back, it's all covered in those dots. So we go, go to add modifier, and we go to click... Decimate. And go bring this down. This does change the faces. Quite a lot. Go try and get it. Not to there. Hey look. Just by bringing this down. The, the model hasn't really changed too much. I mean like. Some parts are ugly. And yeah, we could try and make this a little bit more. To like, okay, that's 
A bit too much. But you know, unfortunately it's quite laggy for me. And I'm bringing this down, but it's going up. But yeah, you just got to go to the decimator and try to find your perfect if it ever stops. Well, I, but, there, but there is other ways actually to try almost like retopology. I mean, I'm going to just add the modifier and then like re add it, but like. Now, let's say you don't really want to get another pro program and you want to do this solely in Blender. So, yeah, we got to add basically two of these. And as you can see, the model hasn't changed too much. And now this is a little bit below 10,000. It may not look as good as it was. But it still looks quite close to, you know, how it was. So once you've done that, also I will show you another like way to, I guess, do retopology with a program. If I could find it. Which means you guys are going to see my backgrounds and I figured out how to do a slideshow of my background. So I just added so many stupid images that I love it. So you, anyway, back to the tutorial. So go to go export. And you can export as FBX or OBJ. I sometimes do FBX. Because like, you just have to hope. No. That it also exports with um, texture. Sometimes it does. I don't know how Roblox works. Okay, not there. Now go to my folder. I'm just going to go Roblox Studio stuff and now I'm going to save this as. I probably already have a chair saved. I'm going to call it Fancy Chair. And then export it. So once we've exported the model, we're going to go back here. And we go to basically add our mesh part. We click here, go, you know. You just search mesh part. We go to have this. Well, click it. Mesh ID. We go open the folder. Try to find it. Don't know why my thing looks like here. That. But I'm going to search my um, fancy chair. And we go open it. Now, hopefully, with the model we got, it's not going to be like have any strange effects. Because sometimes... You know, some dodgy stuff happens. But hey, it looks quite good. Or It's like... Alright, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Nice. So, now that we have our model, we just go scale it down. This looks... Scaling makes... Sometimes makes it look very dodge. I'm sure we, if you can make memes out of this. Some of this game, but we gotta bring this to our NPC and basically have set the scale. And then we go add the texture to the um, chair. So I'm gonna make this a bit. I think that's about right, maybe a bit wider. Okay, now back to Blender. We haven't closed that. You go to click yeah, and see if the, if the texture should be here, unless that there is no texture on the model. I mean, Blender's lagging, so it's probably loading. Yep, it's loading the texture now. The thing is, these textures look very realistic. The thing, the other thing is that Roblox has not yet updated, to, like they have not added PBR textures, so you can't really like know how light is reflected off of this. We could see that it almost looks like an actual chair. So, so we're like the. 
that's the problem. I could not. This is a normal map. Then, and we can't add this. Uh, I don't know where the. What we can try to do is find the original image. Uh, I don't know where it is. It's probably somewhere here in fabric. fabric. That, yeah, that's the thing. Maybe it's in the shading. Yeah, that's the thing. Man, this is all this. I have no clue what I'm doing now. But yeah, so you know, if you can't find the texture, you might as well add your own in fine materials and find your fabric. And like, let me add in a you know cube. So we're gonna use a cube for our example. Like, I mean, you can find. If you can't really like figure out, you could find you could just search fabric texture on the internet, and then copy that. And let's well, let me find fabric here. Yeah, and find like you like you could find any fabric that you think will be suitable for the chair. Like this does kind of look like it, but it's kind of rough. Uh, let's use this. I think that'll be okay. I don't know why my cube is like this. It should have been loading. So maybe this. I mean. It then again, just look up a texture on the internet. I mean, you don't have to go through all of this. Okay, do you know what? This, I'm, we'll just say that this is fine. It doesn't look as good as this. But until I figure out, like, oh, oh sorry, my blender crashed, but... It, it does that quite a lot, but yeah, that's basically how we almost get our furniture in. I was going to show you how you, f you put your textures. I mean, I'll try, I'll still try to, you no. Know. But yeah, that's how, like, there are, maybe we could just use the Roblox's um, materials. It may not look great, but at least there's something that... I mean, these chairs I used Roblox's materials. I mean, they were, it's not really that obvious, but... I mean, I guess you could try to find... You know, that is fabric, but, uh, fabric, but it doesn't look that great, but I mean, I guess you could change it to try to find your suited texture, but like... I don't know. I'll be honest, I would have liked... It. I blend it down crash. I'm not gonna reopen it because it's probably gonna crash again a lot. But do you know what? In fact, I might just use this texture because I managed to succeed with this. So I will, if you want, I could put this couch's texture, you know, in the link to the description, like just the number. So. Okay, it's a bit too big, which kind of sucks. Like, I kind of, like, in Blender, scaled it down. But, yeah. But if you figure out how to add your own textures, I mean, go ahead. I mean... I, I will try to make a tutorial video on how you could do it. If my blender doesn't crash a lot. It really sucks that it does crash. But yeah, that's how, that, you know, if you just want the model. That's basically how we do it. 
and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed you could and yes i did find all of these assets using blender kits so also i did like with the table i did do some like extra things blah 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 all of that but yeah so if you use blender kits you could get some really high poly and very detailed models and textures and oh yeah though other like thing about retopology like you should do some research on retopology like how to make your like high poly model more low poly i'll try i might make a video on that but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and see you guys next time. Bye.